Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by IITians. Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, we shall discuss about the physics of Taylor series. And this discussion is very fruitful for PhD physics interview and also for any physics related interview. So we all know about the Taylor series expansion, but we hardly know the physical meaning of Taylor series and why we need to expand any function in Taylor series. That detailed concept I will discuss in this video and I request you to watch the full video to understand what is Taylor series and the physics of Taylor series. So let's start. Almost all physically interesting problems can't be solved exactly because it needs to make some approximations in order to simplify it in order to solve it. Now, in fact, a big part of doing physics is learning to use physical insights from a problem and turn them into mathematical approximation. So what is the Taylor theorem? Taylor's theorem states that most functions we will almost uh, certainly not we are not talking about all the exceptions but most of the functions can be expressed as an infinite sum of polynomials polynomials so what is the uh, that what does it mean that means that suppose we take a function f of x and we can express it with an infinite sum of polynomials where f of x can be written as f of x equals to sum of n equals to 0 to infinite cn x minus a whole to the power n. Now what is cn here? cn is given by or the cn are coefficients are given by this term that is cn equals to f to the power n a at a point a divided by n factorial. Now what this f of n means? f n means that nth derivative of the function f. So that is the Taylor series that you are certainly expressing a function by some taking the sum of the function and taking all the sum of the derivative of the function first order derivative second order derivative third order derivative and you are summing all the terms you are doing summation all the terms mean that that is the Taylor series now can we uh, tell more about Taylor series let us take a take an example suppose we are we want to do the Taylor series of e to the power x about a equals to zero so this function f of x will be e to the power x and at which point at point a equals to zero means at origin now just let's calculate the Taylor series at of e to the power x at about a equals to zero we need to calculate this cn coefficient which is fn at point a divided by n factorial so we know that uh, ddx of e to the power x it is e to the power x so the derivative of e to the power x d2 d dn dxn e to the power x is e to the power x so what cn will be cn will be e to the power 0 for at a equals to 0 divided by n factorial from this formula and we get one by n factorial. So what is the expression in terms of the Taylor series expansion of e to the power x? It will become e to the power x equals to sum of n equals to zero to infinite x to the power n by n factorial, which can be expressed as one plus x plus x square by two factorial plus x cubed by three factorial and so on. So what does it represent? Suppose we are considering this exponential function. Uh, this e to the power x is the function is written in blue. OK, and you are actually going taking this function in terms of Taylor series to match the actual function. So what you are doing, you are doing the Taylor series expansion just to match what is the actual function this is an approximation and this series is going to give you the same value as the value actually is so so this is the blue one denotes the e to the power x function and if you take sum of all the first n plus one terms in the Taylor series at zero so for n equals to zero one two three four five so look for n equals to six seven eight it 
almost converges with the actual function. So this is like approximating the Taylor function, uh, approximating with this Taylor series with to match the function, to match the actual value. So that is why we use Taylor series. Now, similarly, we can do the approximation for uh, logarithmic of one plus X, but what happens? Uh, this Taylor polynomial for ln one plus X, it only provides the actual approximation only in the range of minus one to plus one range. It will be diverge. The solution will be diverging for X equals to greater than or for X greater than one. So here, you see that ln 1 plus x Taylor approximation of logarithm function 1 plus n, x is only confined within a certain region. It cannot converging outside the region, outside x greater than a. So, so what happens in physics? So in physics, we really uh, want to work with, uh, we don't really want to work to like with the full Taylor series considering all the infinite terms. Here, we only deal first few terms in the series and we use those terms for an approximation to the function. So from that first uh, uh, one, two or three terms, we uh, so somehow we like take the solution and we find out the, what kind of function this can give. OK, we, we can extract out from the Taylor series. So this is useful because all the poly polynomials are nice after their, uh, we can easily take their derivatives or we can mani manipulate them algebraically. So this replacement of a complicated function by the first few terms in the Taylor series, it actually simplify our problem. So all these simplifications, we need the Taylor series and not all the terms of the Taylor series, rather very like two or first three terms is uh, will do uh, or like will uh, can solve our problem, can make our uh, approximations or can make our solution easier. So the Taylor series is not most accurate close to the expansion point A. As further we go more terms to need the most accurate uh, function. That's why we add extra more terms to get the uh, closest uh, like accurate value. To achieve the most accuracy, we need to add more terms uh, for the uh, in the Taylor that is already in the Taylor series. But if you want to get a simplification or want to have a really simple from want to have a complicated function in a simple form, then two term, three term of a Taylor series is great for us. OK, so let us take a Taylor series in solving different equal differential equation. So you all know about this uh, Taylor series that we can use to solve some physics problems. So we can uh, take the differential equation for the simple pendulum. We take uh, theta double dot equals to minus G by L sine theta. Now this differential equation doesn't have a nice solution. We can write it in terms of functions we know. So we can know that this sine theta can be written in terms of Taylor series. So this sine theta can be, so if we take sine of x, then the Taylor series of sine x is x minus x cubed by factorial three plus x to the power five by factorial five and so on. So for small x, these values uh, like uh, for x to the power five, x to the power seven, these values decrease quickly. Okay, for very small x. So for a very good uh, and x cube also, it decreases quickly. So to a good approximation, we can ignore all the terms like x cube, x to the power five, x to the power seven. What we can simplify, we can write that sine of x is nearly equal to x. So then our differential equation will be simplified and this differential equation becomes theta double dot is nearly equals to minus g by L theta. And this is the recognizable as this equation is a, defines a simple harmonic motion. So this is the approximation for a small harmonic oscillation to a good approximation. We are taking the first term of the Taylor series of sine x and we are getting this differential solution of the differential equation and this equation is a simple harmonic motion. Okay, 
So hopefully you understand uh, what is the need of Taylor series in physics? Why do we use Taylor series and when it can fail or not? So these things all depends on the uh, uh, type of the function and its derivative. OK, so friends, you can join our test series program. Uh, we have really provide uh, different solutions with different uh, uh, test questions on different subjects, full length subjective, both subjective and test series. You can join. You can join our group. You can join our page by liking this uh, page. We you can follow our page. You can join our Telegram group. We, you can join our Facebook page. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share our videos. Thank you.